All right, I should sit up in my chair. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna be we're gonna be playing some more Dead Cells, obviously. Uh, let's see, do we have I? Okay, I've done with I'm done with that now. Perfect. I don't know what my schedule is going to be for today. I'm just kind of doing whatever. Uh, wait. What? Oh, hi. Infantry bow, sure. Dead One's Blade versus the Rusty Sword. I got a mod! Uh, I'm not sure if the mod's going to be any good, uh, but I got a mod that, uh, that rebalances the weapons a little bit. Uh, maybe makes them better. Who knows? But also gets rid of the, uh, the enemy, uh, the boss damage cap, which honestly was kind of the, the main criteria for me, because I'm not terribly interested in that. Yeah, mods tend to crash, break your run. Yeah, so, obviously if that becomes like a legitimate issue, then we'll go back. But if we're lucky, if we're, if we're lucky, it's not going to be a big deal. Who knows? I just, I love modding. Modding, modding makes me happy. And so I will, I'll, I'll go through the trouble for a little bit of suffering, maybe. If it means modding my, uh, modding my playthrough. At least a little bit. Yeah, this is just really loud for some reason. Let's, uh, let's just turn down the, the music volume. Let's see, is there any way to put the voting in a different room? No. We could turn it off. What, do you guys, uh, do you guys want the voting off today? Because it was kind of fun for interaction yesterday, but it was also extreme spam. I guess, honestly, let's, let's turn off some of the streaming integration. We don't really need, um, level modifiers we want. Let's turn off Community Codex, Community Chess. Both of those are kind of fun, but it's not that great. Uh, community Spot Secrets, I'll keep that one on. Uh, I'll keep the comments on for now. I'm gonna turn off level suggestions. I don't need those. Uh, control of Boss, I'll keep on. Okay. Yeah, there's a no voting room uh, that I have set up. Yeah, but nobody used that. I, I tried to set up something where everybody would do the voting in a different channel. I tried to do something where people would, uh... I tried to do something where people that didn't want to have to deal with the, uh, the vote, vote spam, uh, would go there. However, uh, nobody did. Everybody would just kind of complain about, uh... About the, uh, the vote spam instead of actually, like, realizing that there, there was a different channel. It was annoying. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit so things aren't pure spam. And, uh, you know, if that kind of throws it off a little bit, so be it. Okay, so I think we might have to deal with vote spam for one more day. Or maybe this level, probably. Yeah, probably just this level. It's annoying, but whatever. Anyway, so I'll just kind of commit to whatever. Uh, let's just grab another one of these. There's a neat mod that actually makes it so you get like 20 levels almost immediately. I'd like to kind of mess around with some some of those at some point. Like just messing with the balance of the game just to see what kind of nonsensical not, uh, stuff I can get into. Dom's Place, prisoner and doctor of mushroomology. Abandoned ages ago. Oh. Actually, a family of rats seems to have, seems to call this place home these days. I like the writing for this character. Like, I'd actually, I, I would actually love to play uh, a game that plays exactly like Dead Cells, but with fully handcrafted levels, and uh, you know, Blood Sword, Frost Blast, Wind Daggers. Fifteen percent extra damage for hits in the back. That's interesting. Not that helpful. I'm gonna save my cash for other things. Uh, we'll find... Buying stuff on the first floor is usually never worth it. Let's see. Been dead for a while. Okay. So where do we... Where do we go? We've got a couple of things left. Do I have the vine rune yet? Yes, I do. Is it worth it for that? Nah. Nah, I used bear traps, like, incessantly yesterday. Yeah, I've got the vine rune and the teleportation runes already. So that, uh, that should open some doors. We want to head for the ossuary. Unfortunately, I'm Garbo with the ossuary. Oh. Who wants, who wants some spam? Because I can do nothing about this. Let's 
Fancy Wonder, did you see the new Smash Bros. Direct? I did, actually. Well, no, I saw some of the, uh, the character- Ow! I saw some of the character trailers from it. Like, specifically the, uh, the DDD one. Or, well, a little bit more than the DDD one. Uh, but no, I don't know, it was- it was clever, I liked it. Interesting. Those uh, those Twitch chests are easier to open if you've got a smaller audience. Uh, if you if they have health proportional to uh, to how many people are currently watching, and since we just started, uh, that one was easier to break. Makes sense. Okay, but yeah. So I, I did see the uh, parts of the Smash Direct. I don't. I know Keith. Keith had uh, had mentioned a passing interest in Smash Bros. I don't know. I don't know what my opinions are on the on Smash Bros. Main problem is just like it's. I'm not very good at uh, competitive fighting games ish. I probably could be if I put forth the practice and so on and so forth. Uh, I don't think I'm like necessarily terrible. It's just one of those where uh, I don't think I'd play it or enjoy it uh, for the like the full sixty bu bucks that I have to pay for it. That's my main problem. Is that the Twitch logo? Yes, this game has Twitch integration. Okay, uh, let's get my mouse out of here. By the way. Okay, so, gold reserves, health flask, random starter shield, random melee weapon. Still gotta wait on that one. Impaler's kind of okay. Quick bow, right? That's what I was. That's what I was getting my my hand on. Let's start working on the health flask. Okay, critical hit. Okay, that yeah, we we know how that works. Oh, that's a tactics only. Ability, that's unfortunate. And there's also the Dead One's Blade, which I think uh, the mod that I have uh, gives that to you, so you always have a uh, fallback weapon if you need one, which actually kind of makes sense. Okay, so upgrade to plus quality. Well. Most of these probably aren't worth upgrading, but I do get plenty of money. Let's see. Ammo for my weapons? That's probably the the best. I've been I've been using and overusing um bows, maybe a little bit too much, but I enjoy it. Oh, poison? Uh-oh. That's worrying. Hmm, is that is that smell normal? These level modifiers are scary. Okay, trap doors, doors explode. Oh, well, this is this one's fine. I can deal with the doors exploding on me just because Well. It uh doesn't bother me much. Okay. I don't think oh, there's a there is a way to get up here. I'm just going to be, uh, I'm just going to be rolling the, uh, the infantry bow for, like, most of this series. I'm realizing. It is just such a satisfying weapon to use. I'm not even using my grenades, and I should be. There are benefits to the grenades. Ow. I don't have much HP though. That's that's one one problem I'm going to. Nope. Oh hey, <laughs> I didn't even see that secret there. Bad cat. Uh, I probably could have waited on that one. Then again, I got plenty of healing potions. Hello. Might grab the blood sword instead of my. Eh, I don't know. Swift bow might might be equally useful. Uh, especially against the boss. 
Because then I can just kind of alternate between uh, infantry bow and swift bow for... for... Ow. Butt tons of damage. Maybe not butt tons of damage. But, you know, satisfying amounts. The one unfortunate point is uh, my swift bow is kind of the inferior version of my my infantry bow. It does have more ammo though. I guess, I guess that's the uh that's the reason. Give it to me. You've got nothing to lose by waiting. What? I'm confused by that. You've got it's probably I've got nothing to lose by waiting. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I was just kind of waiting for that. Poison has no effect on you. Hell yeah. That works really well uh, for this setup. I haven't found a whole lot of level scrolls here. I was expecting we'd find one or two, but then again, I've been mostly on, on the beaten path. And nowhere else. Wheat, nope, wheat, nope. Things. Oh, that's that's one of the, the orange drop-down points. Oh, can you not get to the ossuary from here? Oh, I think I forgot about that. Okay, sinew slicer or electric whip. Victims emit a toxic cloud. Could be interesting. I think I still like my bows, though. So I could go double sinew slicer? Let's go with that. Found a poison heals you modifier in this. That could be cool. Okay, yeah, let's 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 go double double saw blade traps in this. That actually sounds pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up there. But yeah, I've been I've been using um I've been using non-stop grenades the last couple runs, so it's probably a good idea that we we alternate our our tactics just a little bit. And then, of course, the game gives me another freaking grenade. I should remember to recycle them. Gotta be environmentally conscious. Also, we've still got the community tomes. Well, that's... Stupid. It's fine. I guess I should have warped. Yeah, there's, there's the grenade I left behind. Cycle. Even if it doesn't get me much. Oh, right. And that's the ancient sewers, which I can't get to yet. Okay, time door, I was too slow. Community codex, this way. The bleed stacking looks goofy with the double sinew slicer. It does. But I'm fine with that, all right. So that's brutality or survival? Well, looks like I'm not going to be investing in tactics anytime soon. I was really hoping changing that option mid-run would change it, but it looks like, um... Oh, right. Looks like that's not the case. That's fine. We need more spam. I hope you guys enjoy reading chat, because it's going to be nothing but serve. Serve all over the place. Okay. There's another... There's more community codexes. Have fun! This is going to be... Well, I mean, honestly, it's it's not that big of a deal. I'm kind of... I'm kind of negative about, about it, but it's mainly... Eh, negative? I don't know. Mocking, maybe? Might be the better word here. I think those guys used to takes so much longer to explode. I'm kind of glad the, uh... Or, no, so much less time to explode. Like, I want to say the, the, like, bat bombs were pretty, like, the moment they got up close to you, they blow up in your face. That always sucked. Okay. So, Wolf Trap. Sinew Slicers 3. Well. It's better than the Sinew Slicer 2 over here. 
So let's go for it. And yeah, I know I know there's that teleporter over there. I should probably have gone for that first. Other Twitch chest. Swift bow. Oh, he just got melted. Pan? I guess actually it's not bad. And we get an infantry bow three. We do lose the, uh... We do lose the biters, but I'll, I'll live without the biters. And I can't recycle that weapon. Okay, so let's go back to the shop. We want to use the teleporter. We want to do a great many things. Hello! Oh, ah! Ice grenade. Nope. Okay. And yeah, go back into the shop, recy recycle the sinew slicer. We'll make our money back. I mean, we always, we always kind of do. Okay, so we are three for three here. I remember back in the day, uh, when I was, like, cheating to, like, mess with my stats a little bit. Those were kind that was kind of fun. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but I gave myself, like, nothing but an absolute maximum, um, brutality. Uh, back when the stats worked differently. That was... Hilariously messy. It was fun. I'd love to do that again. Let's see, what do I think of the Twitch integration? It works? I th I don't... Hmm. It's better Twitch integration than a lot of games. I'll give it... Uh, I'll give it that. Some Twitch integration is, uh, maybe a little bit smoother, though. A lot of the, a lot of the options here just kind of involve you guys completely spamming the, um, uh, spamming chat to Kingdom Come. And that's maybe a bit much. Okay, so I can't get up there. I can go over here, though, and maybe I can drop down. Oh, there is nothing helpful here. But I would like to... I, I, I'm i going to turn off most of the uh, the particularly spammy, integra uh, spammy Twitch integrations. Just because, I don't know, I think people would actually like to... Uh, I don't know, talk to each other. I've been to... I've been to tr Twitch channels before where, like, it was non-stop integration. It was just like... Uh, well, there's no point in me hanging out in chat. It kind of reminds me of, like, when you when you go to one of those channels that has, like, thousands of people watching at a given time. Like, uh, was an easy example. Uh, I was watching SGDQ. And saying anything there. It's just meaningless. Doesn't, just doesn't work. Okay, so let's upgrade this to pu- Wow, perfect. Biting worms and, uh, crit steal extra, extra damage. I'll save my money for the other ones, maybe. Okay, cooldown time on skills? Yeah, let's, let's get these- let's get these going. So spikes, spike streams to the level. Everything damages the hero and also poisons them. Hero can jump multiple times in the air. Okay. But yeah, while I still remain a relatively small streamer, I would, uh, I would like to be able to interact with people. There's going to be a certain point, like, years down the line, when I've somehow managed to achieve some level of, like, Twitch fame. And I'm gonna have thousands of people posting, and then you'll have no idea that I'm even streaming anymore, because I, I just won't be able to read it, it'll just be like, bah. I'm sure that's not actually the case, though. I've I've seen pretty slow, you know, hundreds of people in chat before. And it's nice. Ooh, hi. Okay, well that kind of that kind of works. It worked enough. Okay, jump is too easy. Jump is too easy. 
I kind of wish it would make it that uh, my character was eh, always jumping. That sounds like an interesting problem. Maybe I don't like that. You do ban, ban spammers. This is true. And appreciated. It is It is nice to have a clean Twitch chat. I was talking to uh, some other big YouTubers and they were... Uh, they were lamenting that... They were lamenting the fact... Uh, that their discords were kind of nightmarish. You know, that they couldn't... Uh, really speak on them. Throwing knife. Bleeding. Dark is the nearest enemy. Let's try it instead of the quick bow. I've got a silly amount of ammo for it, so I should be able to just kind of chuck knives like crazy? I don't know if it's a good idea. I'll grab it. I just know the swift bow wasn't helping nearly as much as I thought it would. Okay, hold on. These might actually be really strong. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I've got a mod that uh, rebalances the weapons a little bit. I don't know if it was a good idea, but uh, I think I'm going to keep it at least for a bit until I find some better mods. I don't know. I, I'm just going to mess around with mods. And if, uh, if people want to find them, there's only like a handful of actually like gameplay affecting mods right now. So I would, uh, I would generally recommend, uh, I would, I would generally recommend looking into some of them. But they, if this game's too hard, there's actually one that makes it so the enemies just do half damage or three quarters damage or even 25% damage. Uh, I don't, I have that one. I don't think I'm going to use it. Uh. But it, it seems like it wouldn't be a terrible thing. Okay, and you're down. Yeah. Let's see, right, the other one was the, uh... Nope, can't do anything with you yet. Okay. I remember what I was gonna say. But that's fine. Daggers! Daggers! <laughs> Daggers and jumping! Prisoner. Prisoner's stay was cut short. Can't say whether it's a man or a woman. Crow's already worked this one over pretty good. And Ricky do. Hydration is important. Let's see, have I missed the whole Monster Hunter PC talk thing? I already, nope, I pretty much haven't talked about uh, Monster Hunter World on the PC. That said, I will be playing it on PC. Again, all the way through. Ideally, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to see if there's some mods, mods that can kind of like speed the uh, process up a little bit. I love Monster Hunter World on the PS4. Uh, it was really freaking fun. <laughs> Hover daggers! Hover daggers! Okay, uh, it was really fun, but I'd like to see if I can get a mod that like cuts down on some of the grind. Like, I would love to play a Monster Hunter World game that effectively just kind of cranks up the drop rates uh, on like the really rare parts, so you don't have to like hunt, say, the cool Vatoroth repeatedly to get like her horn to crack in the right proper way. I don't know. I'm I'm very much like, I like to play games for fun, not because uh, of the grind, and if the grind is kind of this incidental side thing, then so be it. Need a new weapon, the V-Bag minigun. No damage, just knock back. <laughs> that would be fun. Okay. Nothing here. Well, there's a little bit more over here at the very least. Is the reason why I bought Monster Hunter World? Yeah, I I'm looking I'm looking forward to uh to playing it again. I I would have kept playing it on the PS4, but uh I I'm just a PC guy and I I didn't want to uh I didn't want to uh 
like, overgrind to the point where I, like, was fully kitted out forever, and then immediately restart over on PC. I, I figured getting up to the, the real high rank was good enough, at least for the time being. As someone mon managed to mod Monster Hunter World on the PS4, broke the deal, uh, the deal out of the bow. I'm assuming on a dev console, so mods will... But I bet mods will release fast and quick. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. If I could have a... If I could just have, like, a machine gun bow mod that I could turn on for the occasional, like... Super hilarity fu uh, run, I would... I would do that in a heartbeat. Because it would be... I don't know, it'd just be really funny. Uh, to just be like... Hmm. There we go. Uh, it would just be really fun to have a run where I'm just like, I am a machine gun man, and everyone <laughs> everyone before me dies. Uh. And I don't know if any of my friends will be joining me for Monster Hunter World. I don't think so. Bird City was kind of interesting, but we've got such a massive stack of other... Uh, massive stack of other games. It'll probably be, uh... Maybe a little while before they join me. Or never. Or maybe immediate. I mean, I'd love to play Monster Hunter World with my friends. Uh, after, uh... After Dark Souls. We're getting a lot of these community codexes here. Daggers. Dude, why are we going all tact? It's because all my weapons and abilities are tact related. Honestly, I think t uh, tactics is by far my favorite uh, tree. It has the most amount of. Um... It's. I think it's just the variety is interesting. There's a lot of cool moves. I'm actually kind of surprised how few uh, weapons they've actually managed to add. Uh, they've probably added some that I haven't even heard of yet. That archer had a good idea. Try and dodge. Too bad you can't dodge bleed. This is probably going to not be terribly useful on some of the later levels, but it's real effective here. <laughs> that shield guy didn't know what to do. Flanked on both sides by traps. And death. Lots of death. Oh, there might actually be... There, there's a section up above. Boomerangs are awesome too. I haven't actually found the boomerang yet. I'll have to I'll have to go looking for it though. I don't know when and where. I'm gonna be able to find one of those. Anyway, I think I might be able to make it over the top here. Nope. That's a bit of a tall order. A little too tall of an order, if you ask me. Okay. We... Nope. Nothing interesting. Black Bridge it is. Interesting. Found a legendary boomerang. Haven't unlocked it yet. Funnily enough, legendary weapons are drawn from uh, the entire pool. That is actually kind of cool. Okay, I don't think I care about lightning. So yeah, let's just let's just keep pumping into the health flask for now. Okay, so I want to reforge this to plus shots pierce first target and shoots an arrow in front of you. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm gonna. A victim of bleeding spreads it to other enemies nearby. Is that... I... That could be really, really strong. Who knows? Let's get the uh, maximum HP. Let's see. Isn't, it Mo isn't Monster Hunter World out now? I thought Monster Hunter World comes out tomorrow. Is it out now? If it's out now, then my plans for tonight change a little bit.
Eat bleed. I still don't like the fact that this guy shields, but at least it's not a very long shield. I guess we do have the infantry bow to switch between. Okay, trying to walk into him while he's like that is probably a bad move. This is, uh... Maybe a little bit less effective than I was expecting. The bleed effects don't seem to hit him nearly as well as I had, as I was hoping they would. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. And we're good. It's just running out of ammo against the boss is kind of tough. I remember the days when uh, you'd actually permanently run out of ammo, though. Those weren't very fun. I think... This is one of those where you can hit the enemy in melee and you'll get your stuff back? You might. Oh well. Okay, and we get... Cudgel 3. Absorbs 75% of damage, reduces damage received by 30%. Wins the enemy, victims burn, colorless. I think I'm gonna get that instead of the infantry bow. I, I'm gonna commit to that. I've been using the infantry bow a little bit too much, and that shield reducing damage by 30% sounds really good. Okay, so you. Might as well pump it into the increased quality. Uh, and reforge modifiers, but I don't know if that would help that much. Nah, these are these are fine. Let's see, nothing I can do with this guy. He's out of mutations. We're doing fine. Okay, so this is going to be a. I'm curious what's up there, but we gotta get the wall jump first, which is from somewhere else. Looks like the modifier for this one's chicken? Alright. Captain Chicken will attack nearby enemies. Okay, this is going to be... This is going to be fine. I was a little bit worried about this. But no, I've got... I've got cheap tricks for days. And I can make them work. Sounds like Shell's found something rather amusing. Yep, she's watching D&D. Of course she is. I'm just hearing, like, kind of this, the sounds of faintly muffled laughter through my headphones. Ow. Okay, I'll just be over here. All we really need to do to complete the, the set of my build... All I, ha all I have to do is get the one that reduces uh, projectile damage by uh, 75%. I can get that on top of uh, an amulet that, it already, that reduces the damage even further. We'd be in a nice spot. Oh, I rolled right into that one. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so apparently the uh, the whole chicken thing only works if I've got a uh, if I've got a captain chicken, or whatever that phrase is. Uh, let's see. Oh. I get a Guardian Scroll, which is going to go into, uh, yet more tactics. I should probably invest into other stats, but, uh, my tactics is very high. Sweet. Wonder when was the last time you, uh, you played Mother Gunship? A couple days ago. Um, I gotta check this. Unfortunately, 
Okay. So, so Monster Hunter World is not, in fact, out, out today. Good. I was worried about that. Because <laughs> uh, I, I have a massive fan of Monster Hunter World, and I can't wait to play it on P PC. You can't touch me. I can fly. Oh, can I attack this? Yeah, it looks like I can actually attack the chest myself. If the, uh, if Twitch integration, you know, didn't work. Okay, we get an ice grenade. Enemies hit by this thaw more slowly. Yeah, but it's a grenade. I should probably get some more interesting abilities. I haven't really found a whole lot. But I can just kind of sp spam cast my, uh, my turrets out, like, wherever I want, which is kind of nice. Okay, so he's got food. Which I don't think I need to care about. Yeah, I haven't played Mother Gunship in a little while. I'm waiting for the uh, the co-op patch to come out fully. Hopefully that'll come with some rebalancing as well. I'm not entirely sure if uh, if it will, but it would be it'd be lovely if it if it did. Because I'm um I'm a big fan of Mother Gunship. I really like the game, but there there were definitely some like questionable design choices in terms of like balance and like gun availability and whatnot. And so it's kind of one of those where, like, I'm giving a little bit of time, uh, so that I can actually... So I can actually, you know, properly, properly enjoy it. Oh, I keep doing that. For whatever reason, whenever I use my abilities, I also hit the roll button. I just press every button. And it's a big deal. So you'd be pretty invincible if you got the Necromancy Survival Upgrade. I'm not sure. Four damage is... Not a whole lot. That's a tough sucker. Uh, four, four damage, four health is not actually a lot in comparison to 2,600. I should I should just remember to continuously use my my daggers here. Okay, so one B is here. There we go. Suck it, cannon man. You can't stop me. Ow. Okay, but you can hurt me a little bit. Let's see. You might want to look into remapping. You used to have the trigger for the other skill and roll on B. Yeah, I did. Uh, I think this system is better. I just have to remember. Yeah, rolling on B is kind of tough. Because I like to do jumps and rolls at the same time, and that'd be hard to pull off. Okay, Sinew Slicer 5. Shots pierce all enemies. Extra damage to a poison target's not as helpful. It'd be nice if it was extra damage to a bleeding target. Now that would be amazing. Okay. We're going over here? Yeah. The one thing I will say about uh, the jump modifier uh, that I don't like is when it's gone, I, I'm like, I'm used to it. Uh, and so when the uh, jump modifier is finally taken away from me, I'm just like, I don't know how to handle this anymore. How do I move? It's like actually a small problem. Small problem. Oops. Not a big one. Okay, so we've... Have I been in every one of these doors? No, I most definitely have not. Ow. Did I... Did I kill an enemy down here? I did, somehow. I have no idea how. Ooh, I've got a lot of HP. All right, that's gonna be helpful. Do we have another one of you? Nope. 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 Hard pass. Not a. Not after yesterday. We saw what happens when I try and do that. It ain't worth.
thought I rolled through that. Ow. I should probably use a healing, healing potion at this point. Luckily, we've got a stupid amount of HP, so it's kind of... Uh, it kind of makes my life easier. Hello. A lot of unused items. A pile of letters damaged by the damp conditions. Illegible. It's top-notch equipment. I wonder what it's doing here. I'm sure it's... I'm almost sure it's harmless to swallow one of these things. Back yet! This letter is less damaged than the others. Can use our bodies for your experiments. Beg you, save us. The rest is illegible. I'm not sure I want to understand what I've just read. So yeah, some big plague was going through and I guess all the sick people were like, Use us! We're dying anyway. But no, I'm at, I'm not I don't do trap chests. They're not worth it. If the if the uh, traps were more interesting, I'd be in, I'd be fine with it. But the, they're not, so I don't. Okay. So let's grab that one. Recycle this. Okay, so that gives us a, a nice, nice blade trap, nice and strong. A lot of doors here. But yeah, if it was just like a regular chest of some variety, I'd I'd be 100% down. But the uh, I I lost quite possibly one of my strongest uh, runs yesterday to a uh, to a trap chest. And so my interest in uh, in subjecting myself to that sort of thing again, meh. Not a uh, not highly attractive. Okay, throwing knife four, fire grenade. Ah, uh, let's see. So pretty much the same in every way as the one that I already have, which means recycling. Ballistic. Okay, and let's get out of here. Yeah, if there are more interesting curses like the ones that uh like. You know, the level modifiers. Those level modifiers are great. Give me those any day. Uh-oh. Like, if I could have stuff like that, I'd be 100% down. That is so much bleed. Shame the, uh, the bleed effect doesn't copy all stacks of bleed over, just, just one. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so if there were more interesting curses, I would, I'd be fine with it. But there aren't more interesting curses, so bad. Okay, so this brings us to the Forgotten Sepulcher, Sepulcher. Which I'm actually fairly familiar with. We'll go for it, just because I don't think I'm going to be able to get into the clock tower. Yeah, okay. Requires village key. So we might actually be able to do this. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Forgotten sepulcher. Sepulcher, sepulcher. It's something. I don't, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I've been here before. Haha. Uh, this was the old level uh, that you go to before the, the old final boss. I have no idea how, how it works now. Oh, I can sell these. It's actually, like, not bad weapons. Okay, so let's reforge this to plus quality. Yeah. Toxic cloud around the trap. Perfect. 